Certainly, look, uh, as uh, any invasive uh, heart procedures, uh, there are risks with it. So for example, for a simple angiogram, we give them uh, around one in thousand chance of uh, things going wrong during the procedure, which includes stroke, uh, heart attack, uh, emergency uh, operation if things go wrong, or even dying on the table with a simple angiogram. Uh, whereas if you're doing stent procedure, the risk goes up to sort of one in 100. And again, these are all simple stent procedure. Again, if you are undertaking more complex procedure, the risk goes up. You know, so In some cases, we even say 5 to 10% risk of having uh, major complications. Uh, so any invasive procedure with the heart carries risks. Uh, and this has to be uh, kept in mind before offering any stent treatment to patients. Once you have a narrowing in the arteries of the heart, then uh, the, uh, there are three options, as I said, medical treatment, then you have a stent, then you have a bypass surgery. So what qualifies patients for bypass surgery are, for example, imagine just like any road. If there are one or two places which is damaged, you just do a patchwork. Uh, whereas if the road is quite extensively damaged, then we use something called like a building a new road, which is what a bypass surgery is. And uh, there are certain uh, uh, you know, parameters we consider. So for example, if patients are diabetic, if they have triple vessel disease, uh, then they do better with a bypass surgery, especially in the in the long term. Um, whereas if they have, uh, you know, one or two areas where you can put stents in, we go for stents. The pros and cons are obviously, you know, the advantages of having a stents are, you know, you it's a very minimally invasive procedure. Patients are completely awake during the procedure. They pretty much go home the same day. The recovery is usually within two, three days. They're back to normal. In fact, a lot of my patients get back to work within a week after the procedure. Uh, whereas bypass surgery is a more invasive procedure, patients have to be in the hospital for a minimum uh, at least a week to 10 days, maybe longer. And there are risks with the bypass surgery. The healing uh, of the wound take, can take time, especially if they're diabetic, the wound healing may take time. Um, and uh, yeah, patients' uh, recovery is, is a little longer. Um, whereas, uh, as I said, there are certain lesions and there are certain patients who benefit from bypass surgery because it gives a better long-term results because stents, although it looks great, stents can narrow. And once the stents narrow, it's very difficult to treat. So we do have something called a multidisciplinary team meeting or a heart team meeting in our center. I mean, most centers in the UK have it. So we do uh, discuss cases and uh, we take a consensus opinion from other cardiologists and surgeons and then we decide. Of course, it also, uh, you know, um, consider patient choice. So some patients may say, look, I don't want an operation at all. I want stents. And there are some patients who have had a bad experience with stent either by themselves or some of the relatives and they won't have surgery. So we, we do take patients' uh, 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 opinion as well.